This is Ferdinand. It orbits the icy gas giant Uranus, and so far this is the only footage captured of this little moon. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to represent Ferdinand with this royalty-free stock image of a rock. Originally called S2001U2, this moon is not named after a former king of Sicily, a German airship mogul, an assassinated Archduke of Austria, a Scottish indie rock band, or a sentient steam engine used for logging, but it's actually named after the Prince of Naples from William Shakespeare's play The Tempest. This is in keeping with the other moons in the Iranian system, as they are named after various other characters from Shakespeare's expansive works. There are, of course, some exceptions to this. Even though Ferdinand is only 20 kilometers across, it isn't the smallest Uranian moon. That title goes to Cupid with a tiny diameter of 18 kilometers. However, Ferdinand can easily stake the claim of furthest moon from Uranus with a mighty orbital radius of 20,900,000 kilometers. That's three and a half million kilometers further out than the next outermost moon called Cetibus. For comparison, the distance between the Earth and Moon is 384,000 kilometers, about 55 times smaller than the distance between Ferdinand and Uranus. If the Moon were as far out from the Earth as Ferdinand is from Uranus, it would take up a mere 2% of its normal size in the Earth's sky. In fact, Ferdinand is so far from Uranus, its orbit is distorted by the Sun's gravitational pull. This means astronomers may have to rediscover Ferdinand all over again. However, this isn't the first time that Ferdinand has been lost and then found again. On the 13th of August 2001, a team led by Matthew J. Holman and Brett J. Gladman spotted an object near Uranus. At the time, they had no idea the object they had just seen was actually captured in Uranus's orbit, and it was subsequently lost. Just over two years later, on August 29th, 2003, a team led by Scott S. Shepard, notorious spotter of moons, were observing the night sky around Uranus and detected two unknown objects. A month later, and Brian Marsden, former longtime director of the Minor Planet Center at Harvard, linked the two observations and proposed that one of the unknown objects was in fact the same object spotted two years earlier by Holman and Gladman's team. In less than a week, Matthew Holman, the original Ferdinand finder, took to the trusty Magellan telescope and thanks to the advice of Marsden, located Ferdinand, rediscovering the outermost Uranian moon. Coincidentally, the Magellan Telescope is actually named after Ferdinand Magellan, a famous Portuguese explorer who was the first to circumnavigate the Earth in the 1500s. So when will we get a better look at Ferdinand? Well, not for a while. Considering it takes 12 to 15 years to get to Uranus, and there are no plans to launch a probe any time within the next 13 years, it's going to be at least a quarter of a century before we get an up-close encounter with this little moon.